editorial director of the Children's List. We're market leaders in publishing books that support our communities and focus on those with the most need in our society. Our list spans books for children, for parents, for professionals and for academics and sometimes for the general reader. I am especially honoured, therefore, to be introducing Rachel's brilliant book, First up is a great friend of mine, Professor John Stein. Actually, I owe so much to John because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have got my PhD at King's College London because he was my external examiner. So over to John, give him a big round of applause. Thank you so much, Rachel and also Kindersley for inviting me to give this a very short talk. Uh, my friend Sophie is good friends with Rachel, so I thought I'd come along there and see what it's about. I bought myself a book and try and educate myself. I have many uh, people around me with ADHD. Oh, really? I often wonder if I have it myself, because we all seem to be able to understand each other where others don't. But it's really not fair that how every single day I look around my friends' kids and they're all eating party foods. <laughs> what can we do to re-educate the schools, you know? I can testify firsthand the importance of, um, you know, fitness and nutrition and everything that we've heard about and everything that's in Rachel's book, how important that is to me. But thank you again for listening to my story and uh, happy to take any questions after. Thank you. is a huge advocate for mental health within the creative arts and music industry. has been a DJ for decades and um, he DJs in the, the drum and bass scene um, of which I'm a massive fan of. Go look for help, talk to people, communi communicating about how you feel always helps, do you know what I mean? You ask what is mental health and I'm afraid most people think of it as absence of mental ill health. But much more important is your feeling of well-being and um, not enough attention is paid to that. That's all I'll say, but um, thank you for making that point. It's really good to be here. Well done, Rachel, on your amazing book. Uh, so, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it's not easy to write a book because, you know, when everything's in your head and you learn all these things and to put it down on paper and to actually get it published, you know, is is a big, big task and when it actually comes to light and you see it and people read it and tell you it's bloody good, that's, that's all worth it, you know.